Okay, so at Supernova last week, as you may remember, we talked to some fantastic local writers, and that was awesome. It was. Uh, but one that we didn't have time to show last week was an interview we did with Mr. Tom Taylor. Yes, now Tom is a good friend of us here at Kapow, mm. and he has had lots of success both internationally and locally, and I managed to catch up with him just quickly at Supernova. Okay, we're talking to Tom Taylor here at Sydney Supernova. So, Tom, tell us a little bit about yourself. How have you ended up where you are? A guy called Colin Wilson did one of my, basically took one of my plays with me and turned it into a comic book. And from that, I got into the greatest storytelling medium in the world of comics and went, ended up straight on Star Wars, basically. You do Star Wars, you do Batman. Like, yep. these are big characters. So, how do you get into the mindset of that? And also, I mean, this isn't something you've created. You have to fit in with everybody else's kind yeah. of world. So, how, would you, how do you do that? Well, it's interesting. With Star Wars, a lot of people, um, not a lot, but some people have gotten angry at me for saying, how, do you, how dare you think that you can ride Star Wars? <laughs> yes. That's my love, I grew up with it, you're wrong. Um, but the thing is, I grew up with it too, and I love it. And same with Batman, like I love these characters and I come at it first of all from wanting to protect them and wanting to tell stories that I'd like to see. And because I have their voices in my head, you know, I grew up knowing what Han Solo sounds like. And the first time I came to writing him, I knew how to write him. Like it just, it was, yeah. I was raised by TV and film, like all of us. And if Han Solo raises you, you know how to ride him. Absolutely, that's yeah. amazing. That's really cool. Yeah, Batman, he, he's a little scarier. But yeah. <laughs> Can but you hear Batman's voice in your head, Tom? Not a lot. I will tell you, actually, I've got a Batman story coming out this Thursday. Um, and I haven't told anyone this, but the person who does most of the talking in the issue is Robin. Because as far as I'm concerned, Batman shouldn't talk so much. So Robin shows up and basically does all the talking. Fantastic. Spoiler. I am looking forward to reading that one though. That'll be awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> How do you get into writing into that kind of world? Going to America helps. You know, having meeting editors and whining and dining them and letting them wine and dine you is great. Going out and having a beer with them, heading over to San Diego, actually getting to know faces instead of just emailing them weird things. Saying, look at this thing I wrote that you'd love. And they go, oh, that's long. Um, yeah, it's not, yeah, a beer is quicker. Yeah, a and, beer is quicker. Yeah. Nice, very yeah, nice exactly. indeed. But would you recommend kind of sending stuff off if anyone can't get to America and be wine and dined? Uh, yes, I would, but it's but I'd recommend having a body of work first. Like have something to show. Don't just don't just send them scripts because they don't have time to read it. You know, so have something. You go look here. I am. I've just tweeted. Check this link and you'll see this thing that I'm quite proud of. That's as good as what you're doing. And check it, and they will. And if you're good, they'll they'll know it. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you for the advice and thank you for chatting to us on Kapow today. Not a problem. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>